items in the mail, and my little computer project. Uh, good evening, YouTube. Here with you on a um, Thursday evening, uh, 9.05 in the evening. Um, I know I... <laughs> I know I said I would be a while before I was back, but hey, stuff happens. And uh, best I can tell you is, um, I, uh, well, you'll see what I'm talking about in just a minute. First thing I wanted to show you is did what I did get in the mail today. And uh, one of the, 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 this is the item that I did expect to get because I, I could, you know, you can trace it with the uh, tracking numbers and things. And this is a selection of e-caps. From uh, there's the uh, I think the biggest one the 2200 at 50 volts, and they range all the way down to I think one uh, microfarad uh, I believe is what the lowest is, but there, there's a good selection there, and I'm I'll, I'll keep those for uh, you know for for projects and everything. So those will, those will come in handy, and we'll put that over there. And the next thing I got was a surprise. These are the uh, safety caps that I ordered for the uh, Japanese Sansei radio uh, 10 of them I believe there's 10 there and uh, those came in from China I think I gave a dollar 49 for those uh, I forget what the uh, um, caps were but they weren't very much dollar dollar 68 I don't know I have something like that but anyway um, last thing I got was a complete surprise also Although I did know it was coming, uh, this is a kilowatt, kilowatt easy power monitor is what it says, and uh, I kind of wanted one of those to test out the heater when I did the review, and uh, a uh, YouTube subscriber was was good enough to uh, provide this for me, and I am very appreciative of that. He did not want his name mentioned, and that's we'll go from there. So. Uh, thank you very much. You know who you are. <laughs> That's about the best I can do on that. But uh, anyway, like I said, this is uh, this is something I've been meaning to buy for a while because uh, uh, these are just handy as all get out for you know giving you the uh, readouts of how much amp something's drawing, you know things like that, and you know what these do. So. Anyway, that is here. So that's one of the. Uh, excuse me. Ah, I must be sleeping. But uh, that is one of the things that uh, I've been wanting, like I said, and, and that is here now. And again, thank you very much. Um, so, the other thing that I'm doing um, <laughs> is what I mentioned earlier in my video, and uh, I'm going to show you now what that's all about. Stay tuned. All right, there is one of the uh, victims of the uh, computer epidemic. <laughs> This is kind of for Lucky Larry. He's having some computer problems also. Just wanted to let him know he's not the only one. There's the rest of that computer. Uh, kind of tore apart there. There's another one that I tore apart thinking I could use the motherboard out of it. But that didn't work out. So let me explain that a little bit better. We'll go over here. Now this is the actual uh, server case that I had inside the... Uh, cut out there on the uh, below the workbench and uh, let's see this is the uh, motherboard out of it and the uh, motherboard right there is the one I'm going to put back in there and lastly that is the motherboard out of the clear case computer over there that I thought I could use but this case here is what they call a mid tower and that is a full size motherboard it won't fit in a mid tower case so at first I was going to use that uh, clear case right there and just have everything like it was I, I installed the uh, OS the um, open media vault on it it works fine works perfect and uh, that was the perfect solution but I had mismeasured and that's much wider than this case here and it would not go in to that cubby hole so I'm gonna have to use this case but uh, obviously that motherboard doesn't fit so I came up with this alternative and this will definitely fit and it's definitely um, it's as powerful as this one this is an i3 I think 3 gigahertz 
and this is a, a Core 2 Duo, uh, 3 gigahertz. So, you know, they're both about equally um, powerful as far as that's concerned. Uh, fast, whatever you want to call it. This one's obviously a better, a newer computer. So, but anyway, I thought, well, while I was at it, I'm just going to go ahead and take this apart and clean it all out and get all the dust out of it. There's a lot of dust. dust. And uh, so, Larry, that's just, uh, like I said, <laughs> just letting you know there's all the uh, screws I've taken out so far. And uh, like I said, this is uh, my mess. So I'm doing this on uh, this weekend. Hopefully I'll be done. Because Kylie would probably freak out if she's seen all this mess. <laughs> so anyway, I just wanted to show you all that I have been working on this. And uh, this is my little nightmare. So uh, I'm not going to keep you on here very long. I just want to make this done, get this done, and I'll probably go back to work on this for a little while before bedtime. It's, uh, like I said, a little after nine right now, so. Anywho, that's uh, what I'm up to. And so, don't worry, Larry, you'll get yours figured out. <laughs> the, bit, the hardest part I have with these, uh, putting these motherboards in, is the little connections like this here. This is USB right here for the front, and, uh, you know, getting those plugged in and, and seeing what I'm doing. But I have light, and I have uh, my uh, little magnifier, head mic magnifier I can wear if I need to. So that uh, should work out rather well, I hope. And uh, like I say, we're going to get off here, and you guys have a pleasant evening. Thanks for watching, and we will see you.